everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my biggest BoxyCharm haul. Today I'm going to be unboxing my June base box, premium box, boxy pop-up, and add-ons. Before we get started, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a future video. We have a ton of products to unbox, so let's just get started. Okay, so if you don't already know, BoxyCharm is a monthly beauty subscription box. They have their base box, which is $25 a month, and their BoxyCharm Premium, which is $35 a month. And in these boxes, you do get full-size makeup and skincare products. And the value of each box is so much more than what you pay for it, so that's why I love BoxyCharm, and I look forward to getting it every month. If you are interested in BoxyCharm, I will leave a code for you up on the screen and down below in the description box. Okay, so starting with the base box, this is the $25 one, and this one does come with five full-size products, so let's see what we have. Okay, so right on top is the BoxyCharm card. I love getting these. The theme for this month is the Oasis, and on this card, it tells you what products you got in your box, how much they are, and it gives you a little description about each. Okay, so the first item in the box is the Touch and Soul Fill Up Orange Eyeshadow Palette, and it retails for $32. So it's this right here. I think the packaging is so pretty. I know Touch and Soul is a pretty good brand. We have gotten in the box before and I've loved all the products that I've gotten from them, but I haven't had a palette before, so I'm actually really excited for this. So when you open it up, it does have this little plastic with the names on them. So I'm just gonna take this off and give you a more close-up look of the shades. I think they're also pretty. It's a nice neutral toned palette and it does have some pop of color, especially this right here. It's a pressed glitter. So I'm really, really excited for this. But overall, I think this is a really pretty palette and I'm actually really excited to use it. Okay, so the next thing is the Pure Least Beauty Perfect Glow BB Cream SPF 30 and the retail value of this is $35. So this is what it looks like. I was actually really excited to hear that there was going to be BB cream in the box because I haven't used a BB cream before. But when I got it, I saw that the shade was light medium. So I'll just kind of show you how light it is on me. It's really, really light, and it's obviously not my shade at all. So even though I was really excited to get it, I'm sad that I won't be using it. However, I did email BoxyCharm and tell them that it was way too light for me, and they were kind enough to give me $35 in credit on the BoxyCharm website, which is the MSRP for this. So even though I'm not able to use this, I was pretty happy that they did give me credit so I could buy something else. Okay, so next thing is the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder, and the MSRP is $27. So this is the box that it comes in. This was actually a choice. I always heard great things about Artist Couture. I just never tried it, so I thought this would be really cool to try. I also don't have a loose highlighter. So this is the packaging. It's really pretty, actually. So I'll actually just use some right now and blend it out. Look at that. So this is like barely any on, and it's so pretty. But I am really, really impressed by this. It looks super pretty and super natural. And if you want a more blinding look, you can build it up. And I'm really, really excited to have this in my collection now. Okay, so next we have the QMS Metacosmics Lip Liner Corrector. And the MSRP for this is $200. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm just going to put some on my hand to see what it's like. Okay, so it's like a serum. And it's actually really nice and soft. So what you do is you just put it on your lips and then over time, your lips kind of plump out and fill in the lines that you have on your lips. So all of this is pretty cool. I don't know if it would be worth $200. I definitely wouldn't pay that much for it, but who knows, it really could be worth $200. So I will definitely start using this and let you guys know. Okay, so last thing in the box is the Lashaholic Luxury Lashes in their Real Ice Wear. And the MSRP is $15. So they're in this super cute packaging. It's baby pink and glittery. And then when you open it up, here are the lashes. And honestly, I think they're really pretty. I'll show you up close. That's what they look like. I've seen Lashaholics in the boxes before. I haven't had one personally, but to me, they just didn't really seem that nice. Like I wouldn't buy them myself, but these ones are actually really pretty and they look like ones that I would buy. So I'm actually really happy about these. They're like a nice wispy natural lash. So I think these are going to look super pretty on. Okay, so that was everything in the base box. The total value of my box was $309. So that's way over the $25 that I paid for it. I think what made the value go up so much was the $200 lip line corrector. But either way, I think paying $25 for $309 of product is amazing. 
Okay, so now on to Boxy Premium. This one is $35 a month and it comes with six to seven full-size products. Okay, so right on top we got the card. So the first product is the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask and the MSRP is $49. Okay, so here it is. I was actually really excited for this. I love Glow Recipe and I have their watermelon line from BoxyCharm and I was really excited when I heard we were gonna get an avocado sleeping mask. So this says it moisturizes and firms and you can use it as a sleeping mask and you can also use it as a wash off mask. So here's what it looks like. I just love their packaging. They make it so cute. And I just wanna show you the texture. So it does feel really nice. It feels like a thick moisturizer. So I'm really excited to try this on my face. Okay, so the next product in the box is what I was most excited for. It's the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette and the MSRP is $44. So here it is. I was really excited for this. I was so happy when the spoiler came out that we were gonna get this in our box. I love Too Faced so much and they just come out with the cutest things. Like, look at this packaging. It's so pretty. So when we open it up, this is what it looks like. We have a big mirror, and then we have three highlighting shades and three contouring shades. So it is a highlight and contour palette. Let me just show you up close. I really like the different shades that they have. So there's a little bit of something for everybody. And since it is Too Faced, it does smell like chocolate because their products are cocoa infused. So I'm really, really excited to have this, and I can't wait to start using it. Okay, so next we have the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment and the MSRP is $26. Okay, so here it is. First of all, I love NARS's packaging. It's so nice. And this is in the shade Call Me. And this was the choice for premium. I really like this shade. It looks super pretty. It's like a pink coral color. And I think it's so pretty, especially for the summer. But I wanted this because I haven't tried any lipsticks from NARS. So I thought it would be really cool to try out. And I'm just really happy I was able to get a pretty nice shade. Okay, so next we have the Natasha Denona eyeliner pencil. And the MSRP is $18. Okay, so here it is. When I found out they were going to give Natasha Denona eyeliners, I was really hoping for one. Luckily, I was able to get one, and I'm really happy because there are these pretty shades. Like this one is called Turquoise. And ever since I got that other blue one from KVD Beauty, I've been really experimenting with different colors. So I'm actually really excited for this. This is a really, really pretty color, especially for summer. So I think just doing a natural look with this as a wing liner would look so pretty. I just think this is a really nice pop of color and I think it looks so well with my skin tone. So I'm actually really excited for this. All right, next thing in the box, we have the Billion Dollar Brows Sculpting Duo Brush and the MSRP is $30. So here it is. So this side is supposed to be for highlighting and this side is supposed to be for contouring. The bristles are actually really soft. They don't seem too sturdy. And in my honest opinion, I don't feel like the quality of this is worth $30. But again, we will see. I'll test it out and I will let you know how it is. Okay, so the last thing in the box is the Living Proof Restore Instant Protection. And the MSRP is $28. So I actually haven't had anything living proof in my box yet. So I'm really excited to have this. So it's a Restore Instant Protection. It says Weightless Heat and UV Protection. So I think that's really cool, especially for summer because we're outside. And whether you use it before you straighten or curl your hair or use it just to go outside, it is gonna protect your hair from the heat. So I'm just gonna try some on my hair. Ooh, and it smells really good. So since it's not a holding hairspray, it's not making my hair hard or anything. It's nice and weightless. And I actually like it because it smells so good. So I'm gonna keep using this and see how it works. Okay, so this was honestly a really good box and the value of this box was 195. So it was less than the base box, but I think that's because the lip line corrector was so expensive. But getting a value of 195 is an amazing deal for paying $35. So overall, it was a really good box. Okay, so next we're gonna jump into Foxy Pop-Up. And you're able to buy products for up to 80% off. They have makeup, skincare, and lifestyle. So a bunch of different things you can choose from. And I did buy a good amount of stuff. So let's just get started. Okay, so the first thing I got were these Tony Moly sheet masks. I got two calming and two illuminating. I really love using sheet masks because they're super hydrating. So I thought these would be nice to pick up since I haven't tried Tony Moly before. So I'm actually really, really excited to use these. Okay, so the next thing I got were more sheet masks. They're from Tula Skincare. They're the Star Bright Nourishing and Brightening Cosmic Hydrogel Masks. So I really love sheet masks, but I think my favorite are hydrogel masks. And I've mentioned them before. I really like the Neutrogena one. And I didn't know Tula made hydrogel masks. So when I saw these, I had to pick them up. It came with four, so I thought it was nice that it was a whole pack. 
but they say they have probiotics, grapefruit, goat to cola, and chamomile. But I'm really excited for these. I haven't tried anything Tula, so I will definitely be trying these out soon. Okay, next thing I got was this Cover FX Water Cloud Primer. It says Pollution and Blue Light Defense. It says it's a weightless cooling mousse that refreshes skin and helps defend against pollution and blue light rays. So I just wanted to try out a new primer, so that's honestly why I got this. And I thought it was really cool how it says it was pollution defense. And I'll just put some on my hand for you. It does feel like a moisturizer and like a silicone primer at the same time. So I know this is going to be a really good one. Okay, so next thing I got were these Hum Hair Sweet Hair Gummies with Benefits. They're for stronger and healthier hair. So I pretty much just got them because they're vegan and I love getting hair vitamins. So I thought this would be pretty cool to try. And I just had to pick these up because it's really hard to find vegan gummies. Like I always spend a long time looking through the gummy section. But I swear by hair gummies and I haven't tried this brand out. So I thought this would be cool to try. Next item is this It Confidence in a Cream Transforming Moisturizing Super Cream. So I have heard about this before, but I haven't gotten it ever. I've tried the Confidence in a cleanser and that was amazing. It just made my skin feel so nice and so hydrating. So I thought that I would get this. So that's what it looks like. And I'm just gonna put some on my hand and test this out too. And yeah, it's super hydrating. It kind of feels just like how the cleanser did, but in a moisturizer. But this is one product that I am really excited to start trying. Okay, so next I got these Lily Lashes. They are limited edition lashes foam mink. And I'm not sure how to say the name of them, but it's G-A-I-A. -A. But they are so pretty. But since they are foam, they look super natural, but so full at the same time. So that's why I wanted to pick these up. I'm starting to pick up a lot more lashes, so I thought I would try these out. All right, so next up we have the Becca Ultimate Lip Definer. You've already seen me have this a bunch of times in my hauls. I get this from Ulta usually, they're my favorite lip liners. So I decided to pick another one up, a shade that I didn't have already, and this is in the shade Vacation. So I'm gonna put it right under this blue eyeliner so you can see. But this is a little bit deeper than the colors that I have. It's still like a nude pink, but it's a little bit deeper. I actually have one of these on right now. I'm not sure the shade I'm wearing, but they're so pretty. So they just feel super nice, so that's why I picked another one up. I've been talking so long, my throat hurts, so I have to get a drink. Okay, so next we have the Nude Sticks Eye Pencil Sheer Color in Pooter. Okay, so it's this pencil and on one side it has the color. So you just color on your eye and then with the other side you just blend it in. Honestly, I would probably blend it in with my fingers because that's just how I like to do stuff. But I'm just going to show you what the color looks like. It's like a pretty shimmery purple. It's like a light color. And I just think that would be so pretty on the eyes and kind of like smudged out. So that's why I picked this up. Also, I haven't tried anything from Nude Sticks and I heard it was a really great brand, so that's why I decided to pick it up. Okay, so we have three more products for Boxy Pop-Up and they're all from Kaja. I've never tried that brand before, so I decided I would pick a few things up from them. So this is the Under Eye Brightener Illuminator and the color is Peach. So that's the packaging. It's so cute and I've been wanting something from this brand before because their packaging is just super cute. It is pretty light, but it does have a peachy tone to it. So when you blend it out, it is pretty nice. So I think that will definitely work for me. So I really wanted to try this because it's a separate brightener from concealer. So I have some concealers that are my skin tone and I just use those to conceal. And then I have some concealers that are a few shades lighter and I use that to brighten. So I like that this is just a brightener. So if I do wanna brighten my eyes, I can also put it on with my darker concealer. Okay, so next up we have the Bouncy Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow Trio. So this is the packaging. It's so cute and you guys know I love pink, but it's just an eyeshadow trio. So it has three different shades. So the bottom is a purple shade and then we have a hot pink and on top we have a light baby pink that is glittery. Also comes with a super cute mirror so it's nice and easy to take with you wherever you go. But I'm just going to swatch these really quick. So these are the shades. I think they're really pretty and they're really pigmented. So I'm really excited for this. This is super cute and it's definitely something I would use a lot. Okay and last thing is this moisture melt lip gloss stick and it's in the shade wink wink. So again, like I said, they make super cute packaging. So I just have to show you guys what this looks like. This is what sold me is it's a heart. So you just push the bottom and then it pushes it up. So it's basically a lip gloss, but in a stick and it's in a heart. So I think that's so cute and I don't have anything like this. 
So it's this right here, I don't know if you can see it, but it's this pretty pink shimmery lip gloss. I really like how it looks shimmery, but it's not glittery because honestly, I don't like glitter on my lips. But I just think this is super cute and I'm so excited to use it. Okay, so now we're done with Boxy Pop-Up. We are almost done, but we have one more thing to unbox. It's Boxy Add-Ons. So Boxy Add-Ons is kind of like a Boxy Pop-Up. You get stuff for really good prices. Boxy add-on is just stuff that has been in a previous box before, and you have the option to buy them if you didn't receive them. Okay, so first thing I got were lashes from House of Lashes. I haven't tried House of Lashes before, so I'm pretty excited about these. The style is a knockout, and I thought they were so pretty, and I just really wanted to try House of Lashes. And like I said before, I'm trying to restock on lashes, so that's why I picked these up. Okay, so next thing I got is just a restock on one of my favorite skincare products. It's the Pharmacy Very Cherry Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. This stuff is amazing. It's my favorite way to take off makeup. I just feel like it's a really good quality balm and it smells amazing. So I feel like I actually enjoy taking off my makeup because usually I dread taking off my makeup. But with this, I kind of like it because as I'm taking off my makeup, it smells like cherries. And I couldn't find this in stock anywhere for a long time. So as soon as I saw this, I had to get it. Okay, so next thing we got is the Kapari Coconut Face Cream. So I saw this in a box a few months ago and I really was hoping to get it, but I didn't. So I'm glad that it was in add-ons because I really wanted it. Okay, so the box says it's a luxe lightweight lotion that helps fix visible wrinkles and delivers essential hydration. So it does say it's a coconut oil face cream. So it's pretty much a moisturizer and I haven't tried it, but I love Kapari. So I'm really excited to use this. Okay, so I have two more things. Next, we have the Peach and Lily, the Good Assets Pore Toner. It says it gently exfoliates and balances. So I've been really needing another toner. I ran out of mine, so I thought I would pick this one up. I heard Peach and Lily is a really good brand, so I thought this would be really nice to try out. And it does say it's a pH adjusting toner that helps take off dead skin cells. So like I said before, I've been needing a new toner, so I can't wait to try this out and see how it performs. Okay, and we finally made it to the last thing. It is the Hourglass Vanish Flash Highlighting Stick. And I got the shade Champagne Flash. So last month, I know it was in the base box. It was a choice, but I really wanted the Glam Glow Mask because I haven't tried Glam Glow before and I have tried at least something of Hourglass and I had so many highlighters. So I decided on the Glam Glow. So I was hoping they would be an add-on and they were. So I decided to pick one up and I got mine in like a gold shade. They had so many different shades but I thought this one would look super pretty on my skin tone. Like just look at that, that is so gorgeous and it's super creamy and it just has so much pigment. So a little bit's gonna go a long way and I don't have any stick highlighters. So that's honestly why I really wanted it. And Hourglass is just an amazing brand. So I'm super excited to start trying this out. Okay guys, and that is it for this huge boxy charm haul. If you did make it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.